I was born, broken hearted boy, give or take an ounce. And the world would give me a break, waiting ready to pounce. I was born with a broken heart, with a broken heart, she was broken. Alright, hi guys, I'm CW Brandy. I'm here backstage at Heartwood Acres here with the band David Wax Museum. So please introduce yourself to the Pittsburgh CWO. I'm Sue Slezak. And I'm David Wax. Um, I just have to say I love your dress. It's green. She didn't even realize that I would be talking with her today, but it was just a feeling and I love the dress. Thank you. So where are you guys from? Well, we live out in Massachusetts now. Okay. Um, the band got started in Boston mm -hmm. um, about three and a half years ago. Oh, okay. So we've been um, touring pretty full-time for the past two years, so it's hard to say we really have a home because we're mostly on the road. Right, right. And when did you guys start? Uh, 2007, we got the band together. So it's fairly new, still fairly yeah. new. Yeah, yeah. And for those who haven't heard you before, how would you describe your music? Well, I think it's rooted in in American folk music, but there's there's like a rock and an indie rock feel, there's a country feel, and there's also a really strong Mexican feel, and that kind of Mexican. makes us stand out in, in, the, in the world that we're in. I'm primarily, I'd say primarily interested, influenced by kind of the big guns when it comes to songwriters in terms of Bob Dylan and Paul Simon and Tom Waits, but um, I grew up listening to a lot of all country music growing up in, in central Missouri, and then spent time starting in 2001 down in Mexico and started learning Mexican folk music while I was down there. And wow. So that's been an inc increasingly important influence in my own songwriting in the last couple of years. Now there's a rumor, and I can't wait to see this, but somebody plays a jawbone? That's me. That's you. The uh, okay. donkey jawbone is a traditional Mexican instrument, it's a percussion instrument. Okay. And a donkey jawbone, like a real jawbone. It is. Okay. So how did, so, so that's how, that, that thought, it, just from doing your work in Mexico, this is how it came about. Yeah, so when we started the band, David suggested that I, I purchase a jawbone and start learning how to play it. Where so do I you, can. where do you purchase a jawbone? You can get them on the internet. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry, you get from, yeah. from um, World Music Percussion Stores. Yeah. So that's what, um, it's really interesting. It just costs about 40 bucks. You just need a stick to hit to kind of rattle the teeth. You hit it with your fist and the teeth yeah. rattle, and then with the stick you can make kind of other percussion sounds. That is so cool. I have to see it. I can't not wait to see this because I mean I've never seen anybody play a, a jawbone. Is there any other cool instruments that you guys have or we do we play a number of traditional Mexican instruments yeah. that come from southern Veracruz, Mexico. That's the there's a style called Son Jarocho that most directly influences the museum. Oh cool. And so I play uh, a little Mexican guitar called a harana. Uh huh. And Greg Glassman plays a little Mexican bass called a Leona. Interesting. And then we also what we're doing right now on tour, um, there are four of us, and our fourth player is playing a baritone sax and using uh -huh. that as kind of our, our bass line, oh, playing the bass, bass line of stuff. Is there anyone that you would want to work with in the future, maybe collaborate on a song with? Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm really a big fan of Calexico. I feel like it would be really exciting to get to do something with them. Yeah. I feel like they have a real strong Mexican current in their music as well, so it would be exciting to, to collaborate with them someday. Cool. So hey, if they're watching this, <laughs> heads up, yeah. David Wax Museum. Well, thanks again, guys. Nice yeah, meeting you. Nice and you. Yeah, break a leg out there. Don't so break the job. <laughs> I'm so excited <laughs> to see it. Happens it. Sometimes. Does it really? Oh, man. Like, yeah, what would you do? Like, um, do you have a couple? I have a couple. I have a stash. Yeah. I bring always one extra with me in the car. Yeah. Um, then I have a stash at home. Yeah. 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 I'm just fascinated by this. This is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks Thank for having you. Me. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> After over the covers by the time we reach the altar After over the covers by the time we reach the altar Change, 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 change